How fashion has generally marketed itself, it makes women feel bad about themselves. I'm Emma, the founder and CEO of Playful Promises. We don't want to make people feel like unwelcome, that lingerie is just for kind of straight couples, it's for like everyone and anyone. When I was younger, there were no options except for my mom's bras, which were not cute. We don't fit the fantasy, we are the fantasy. We want to make sure that everyone is included, that everyone feels beautiful. I absolutely don't want to put my money into companies that aren't going to cater to me. There is a diverse range of women with diverse body shapes who want sexy lingerie. Today we're here to do a shoot for the anniversary of our brand. We're shooting today to represent different people, people that would not normally be seen in mainstream fashion and in lingerie especially. We wanted to make sure that this shoot is referencing like ball culture, 80s inspired kind of glittery, lots of glamour. We don't see enough people represented. It needs to change and it's not difficult to do. We've got a really amazing array of models coming to work with us today. We're really looking to capture a diversity of our size range and our client base. So I think, yeah, keep her in that one because it looks... Yeah, it looks so good in that picture. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that inspired me to go into lingerie is that I realised there was a sort of gap in the market and I felt like there was a really a space for a brand that is affordable and has a much wider size range. We've uh, currently got 78 sizes, 78 bra sizes, and we're actually adding even more sizes. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the time people think that because we're an inclusive brand that the design process must be different. And actually, that's the whole point. It isn't different. The, the design process of making a sexy product is the same. So that's why there's no excuse for other people not to be doing it. I actually worked as a, as a stripper, which maybe surprises some people, but that's how I was then able to fund going back to university again um, to then do a degree in fashion design. So I was working at nighttime dancing um, and then doing the business in the day. Having worked in the sort of adult industry, I really felt society doesn't understand that really all feminism is about is about allowing women to make their own choices. Awesome. The reason we decided to work with Lena for this photo shoot is that she's been quite vocal about wanting to work with Victoria's Secrets and Victoria's Secrets were uh, quite unpleasant about trans models. It was a moment for me to say, I'm gonna go after the big one. I'm not gonna settle and just do these little small fights. I'm gonna go after the war. And I'm glad that they finally said something, you know. We don't fit the fantasy. We are the fantasy. Our ideas, our bodies, our conversations, our, our way of thinking has been literally ripped from us and put in stores to sell back to us. We thought, fuck it, if, if Victoria's Secrets don't understand why they should work with her, we will. You know, the, the vibe we're going for. Yeah, like, very I love like, that. That's one of them. Uh, kind of like vibe. Amazing. Victoria's Secret is kind of like, has a vision of what they want, and that's fine. They have every right to have that vision, but I don't want the rest of the world to fetishize that because it's not including everyone else. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Yes. So sparkly, amazing. I love that. I love the lighting. Mm -hmm. The lighting's beautiful. We look at Victoria's Secrets and we think that's everything that's wrong with how lingerie is marketed to women. One of the interesting things about Victoria's Secrets is recently their financial data showed that their, their sales were falling and the media interpreted this, that women had lost interest in like sexy lingerie. And I actually think it was a complete misinterpretation. What it is, is that women they just don't like the way that Victoria's Secrets is expressing female sexuality. They want to see a, a broader, more inclusive 
expression of female sexuality. Being inclusive has been a really big part of the success of our brand. We're one of the first brands to work with a gender fluid model. We decided to do a, a collaboration with Gabby Fresh, as she was one of the original body positive bloggers. Inclusivity to me, it covers um, gender, it covers race, it, it covers size, it covers age. When I was younger, I wanted to model. I was like, there's no models that are ever gonna be my size. I'm too big. In the past, anything cute came in a in an A cup or a B cup. I mean, now you can find gorgeous lingerie in like triple D, H, G, sizes that most people don't even think about unless you're a larger woman. I enjoy the fact that I can be here today and will be able to show other women that you can be sexy. Growing up, I felt like I was always looking for my own personal heroes that I looked up to and my own idols that inspired me. And it was hard for me finding it because I was living in such a like hero white norm society and conforming to that society was always kind of like a hassle and stress. It's important to just have your own moment to just like love yourself and fashion can really help in that field. We feel that we're really lucky um, to have been so successful when we took so many risks and it shows that we are in touch with what women are looking for. There's so many people who are hiding be behind, you know, their oversized clothes. They're still wearing that basic beige bra every day and that's it. I feel like everyone deserves to feel confident and sexy. Society still has lots of problems with sizeism, ageism, racism. The industry is getting better. But as in, you know, in the way the society needs to move forward, so does the industry needs to keep pushing boundaries as well. I'm happy that I'm in a generation where we are pushing those doors down so we can have seats at the tables where we belong and where we've always belonged. Do you want to put music on yeah. afterwards? Yeah. Okay. Did you want Disco. your music? We are the fantasy. <laughs>